hey, so we are seeing artificial intelligence come into the music industry. Um, certainly, we saw earlier this year, um, David Guetta used Eminem's voice uh, generated using AI. So, um, yeah. And then we also a bit later in the year, April, I think it was, we saw the Drake and the Weekend song where they used their voices generated by AI. So, yeah, obviously, my opinion is that where you're generating somebody's voice, an artist's voice, then, yeah, you need to be giving that artist some credit financially, as in a slice of the royalties on the song that you've created using the AI. Um, that, for me, is, is a given. But now you look at like what they're doing in terms of like you know using uh, AI generated lyrics, and for me, you know, I mean, I've got a bit of a, a head start in this in terms of sort of my understanding, really, because I, I work in in AI and data science for, for my day job. So you know, when when you're trying to generate lyrics using AI, there are some tools out there that sort of you, you can feed them an idea and they will like a few words for example or a few phrases and, and then they they will give you suggestions the ai the ai tool will give you suggestions for lyrics and that's one thing but then you could take it a step further and say okay what if i trained a model a computer an ai computer model on the works of bruce springsteen um and then you ask it to produce a song lyric say for example based on the on what the style of Bruce Springsteen is. It's very, effectively that would be what that AI model would do. Um, that's really quite dangerous and, and quite powerful, really, uh, for me, because then you you think, well, you know, if you're doing it in the style of Bruce Springsteen, his his sort of lyrical style, which is kind of you know you could you could say he has he has his own style like that. Um, that's you know do 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 you then have to remunerate? Bruce Springsteen with that? I think you do, you know, but would you really want to do that? I mean, I, if I was Bruce Springsteen, I wouldn't want somebody, you know, basically ripping off my lyrical style, certainly a computer doing that, uh, or, or, well, or maybe he would, I don't know, perhaps, you know, an, another artist might, might think that that might be something they'd like to explore. But for me, it sort of takes away the magic of, um, of, of lyric writing if you are using AI to base your base a lyric on another songwriter's lyrical style but then you say what if you instead rather of training on a particular one particular artist style like Bruce Springsteen for example or Bob Dylan whoever uh, what if you trained it on all the lyrics that were ever written or, or, or some subset of them like a random subset of them um, would you then be generating lyrics that were assuming you're training them on the best lyrics at least, would you then be generating the best lyrics ever? Because you had like you'd have all the skills of the technical tools that people like Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, Joni Mitchell, uh, you know, Paul McCartney, John Lennon, uh, you, you know, the list goes on. What if what if you, you had all those ingredients there in, in your lyric that you'd that you um that your 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 AI model that you were training to to produce these lyrics you know, would it produce something that is like, like, like greater than the sum of its parts, you know, or certainly was the sum of its parts, you know, it's all very interesting for me. And this is like very um, fertile ground, I think, and, and interesting for the AI community, the the, the music community. Um, but we should definitely tread carefully for me. Um, because, yeah, we, obviously, we're, 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 we're dealing with intellectual property here as well, you could argue. So there's, um, you know, an artistic um, values as well. So, you know, this, these are all ideas that we need to, to work out as musicians and, um, and as, you know, AI operatives as well in the field, if you like. So, yeah, tell me what you think. You know, do you think that um, AI and music is a good thing? Um, and have you tried it as an artist, you know, or would you like to try it as an artist as a as a tool out as a tool for you to start to keep producing your music and take it to a net to another level? Uh, I'd be really interested to hear. Uh, hopefully you've sort of gathered sort of what one or two of my ideas on the are on the subject. And uh, yeah, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Cheers, Ryan.